welcome back to the channel in this video we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest fair distribution of cookies so we are given an integer array cookies where cookie i denotes the number of cookies in the ith bag you have to distribute these cookies among k children and notice that you have to give the entire bag to a single children you can't split the bag and give half cookies to the first children and half cookies to the second children so that is not possible you have to give the entire bag to a single children now you need to find the minimum unfairness of all possible distribution what is unfairness unfairness is defined as the maximum total cookies obtained by a single child so for example if let's say these are the five five bags of cookies and you decided to give these three bags to first children and these two bags to second children then the unfairness of this distribution would be the maximum cookies obtained by a child so first children uh, gets 31 cookies second children gets 30 cookies right so unfairness of this distribution wherein you have given a bag of 8 15 and 8 to first children and a bag of 10 and 20 to second children the unfairness of this distribution would be maximum of 31, 30 which is 31 so unfairness of this distribution is 31 you have similarly you have to count the calculate the unfairness across all distributions and determine the minimum number of unf minimum unfairness of all the distributions so let's try to solve this first as always let's start with the brute force approach so what will be the brute force approach here we have eight cookies at max notice the constraint constraint is very small there can be at max eight cookies and there can be at max eight children so what you have is eight cookies and eight children okay so what you can do you can uh, you can assign this cookie first cookie to any of these children right uh this this or any of this right so basically you for calculating the time complexity you need to find out how many distributions were there like how many distributions of this eight cookies across this eight children are possible so for that let's say what are the number of uh, number of possible placement of this first cookie eight right it can be given to one of these eight children similarly what are the possible placement of second cookie eight again it can be given to one of these eight children similarly possible placement of third cookie would be eight and so on and so forth so in total there are total 8 to the power of 8 possible placement or possible distributions of this cookies across this eight children which is nothing but 2 to the power of 24 so this is within the time complexity so basically you don't need to do anything fancy you just find out all the distribution calculate the unfairness across all the distribution and then take the minimum of all of them so that's like that solution would work now the question remains how to calculate these combinations 8 to the power 8 combinations so for that let's try uh, doing this from the last so let's say you you have this eight cookies right so you have to distribute this eight cookies across the eight children like these are the children now let's take the last cookie let's assign it to one of them let's say you assign it to this ith one okay now once you assign it to ith one what you have done is this cookie is no longer there now you have to assign this seven more cookies right so what this is exactly same problem that we have solved just before so what we have what we have to solve previously was assign this eight cookies to this eight children but now when you assign this one cookie to one some children i you are left with seven cookies now you are saying assign this seven cookies to eight children again so you hope you can see the recursion here so previously we have to assign uh, like eight cookies now we have to assign seven cookies so we have reduced our problem set and we are solving the same problem like as a as problem is assigning cookie to among eight eight children so let's say f of i denotes the unfairness or basically what will be the minimum unfairness if you have to assign this eight cookies okay so f of i denotes this unfairness now what you can do you can like how to find f of i just take the ith one like what you have done previously you take the last one and assign it to something so let's just take the ith one ith cookie and assign it to some children let's say c okay so once you assign it to some children c 
what you are left with is to assign i minus 1 cookies among 8 children again so f of i minus 1 will give you the unfairness after assigning this uh, i minus 1 cookies more so you will just take like you will try all possible c and take the minimum across all possible uh, f right so this would be the overall like pseudo code for this approach now what we will do we will try with f of i comma cookie distribution so there is some distribution of cookies among children and this is the ith cookie that you are trying to assign so just uh, like if all the cookie are already distributed then you like this cookie distribution will contain the distribution across all the cookie right so just calculate the unfairness what is unfairness unfairness will be the maximum value in this array now if there are some cookies like i is not at the end or like be, uh, in this previous solution that we have discussed we have we are removing the last cookie right so similarly we can try removing the first cookie as well like try removing the first cookie and then solve for the remaining seven right so same we have done here like we have tried placing the ith cookie in one of these child c now what is act like what actually placing means placing means we just increment the distribution like we, we just increment the number of cookies for that child so this cookie distribution contains how many cookies does ith child hold or ch child hold so basically we go ahead and increment the value of ch child ch child cookie by cookie i now once we have done this we have basically saying that i have assigned i a cookie to ch child now just find out f of i plus one like assign the rest of the cookie and once you reach here you will get the uh, value of unfairness so take like take the minimum across all this that will be the answer so hope you get the question let's uh, try to look at the solution code so as discussed, we have this unfairness uh, recursive function which take in the cookie index and which take in the distribution across all the child. Now, if we have distributed all the cookies, then we need to find the unfairness of this distribution. So un what is unfairness? Unfairness is simply the maximum number of cookies a child hold. So basically maximum across all these uh, cookies of this child. Now, once we find like if there are more cookies to be distributed, then what we will do, we will try to distribute that. So we will try to distribute the this cookie, cookie index cookie to one of these child, like total there are CNT child, right? So we give this cookie to JS child. Now, what exactly giving this cookie mean? Giving this cookie means that JS child holds this cookie, the entire cookie in this bag. So JS, we just increment the uh, count, cookie count of that child and then we simply f find out the unfairness, unfairness of this distribution. So once we have this unfairness, we will take the minimum across all this unfairness because at the end we need to find the minimum across all this unfairness. So after we have done this, we will remove the cookie count from this child because notice that this is the reference. So we remove the cookie count and then move ahead. So basically what we are saying, I haven't assigned with this statement, what I'm saying is I haven't assigned cookie index to any of the children because previously I have assigned it to JS children, but now I have taken back those many cookies. So now it can be assigned to the next children. So that's what the solution is. Uh, you, it will be passing the time complexity because of the constraints. The constraints were very low. But uh, there are other solution coming to bit masking at all. Uh, like there is one more solution of this same problem with bit masking. I, I, I myself have solved it during the live contest in bit masking. I will link the like link my video where I am solving this with bit masking in the comment below. If you want me to record a separate video describing what exactly that bit mask solution is all about, I will be able to do that please post them in the comment section below. I will record that. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. And you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe. Thank you.